Today is Friday, March 24th, 2023. I'm at the Norman Wells Historical Society slash museum. So just wanted to give you a tour of this awesome place. If you're ever in Norman Wells, you've got to stop here. It's incredible. So here we go. This is, um, this is actually a job ad for the Canal Trail Project. So I know it's really interesting. I'm sure it can relate to a lot of, a lot of people can relate to this in their workplace. But thankfully, we don't have to work somewhere like this. This place. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let's have a little tour. So this is our gift shop, which is awesome. We sell pelts and fur pelts here. Beading supplies. And then, of course, this is all made into mittens and all these beautiful, beautiful things. Oh, so nice. All these card, card holders, lanyards. You name it, beadwork, so pretty. All these, oh, these are my favorite, these little muckalucks. They're so cute. Anyway, here we go. We have all kinds of really cool things to look at, things to purchase. So this is a, an artist and his name is Burnwell Brown. He was from Colville Lake. He moved to Colville Lake. He was a priest and um, married, ended up with a marrying a local person, gave up the priesthood. And uh, yeah, so a lot of his work, if you're interested, is on the NWT archives. Burnwell Brown is his name. Amazing artist. Not an artist, he's got uh, lots of photography as well. So let's go into our museum. This is, uh, I think the girls named him Marty the Muskox, <laughs> but he's cool. And this is a funny, goofy t-shirt that we have. Because I tell you, the mosquitoes are crazy here in the spring. Oh, they carry you away for sure. So uh, in this museum, we have a lot about the Canal Trail project. And that was a project that was started in the 40s for the Americans for the war effort to uh, get the oil. So uh, yeah, so this is a little bit about this, which had to have been quite the event because... You know, it's not accessible by road here. So everything was brought up the Mackenzie and then Winter Road. And it was over 200 mile, um, a 200 mile pipeline from here to, um, yeah, to the Alaskan shore. So this is Burnwell that I spoke of earlier. There's a little blurb about him. No, you probably can't see it, but hopefully. And this is a bit of his work that we have here. Some of it is so cute. Look at this. I love his face. He's always so happy. He looks so happy. And all the children. And it's really nice because people come in here and say, they can relate to the people on these boards and say, oh, that was my sister or my, my cousin or my aunt or my granny. I know. So sweet, eh? And there's some more of Burnwell's work. These are his paintings. So, yeah. This is uh, some indigenous art that we have here. These are gun holders, I say. Some little dollies. This is a caribou teepee. Some more work, watercolor. Then here we have some artifacts, some tools that people use to make things. It's amazing what they make things out of. But in the north, it's like, you know, you def definitely have to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And like every good museum, we have rocks. We have lots of rocks. And all about the rocks in the area. And some beautiful pictures of the area as well. And for those people who like to touch stuff, we can touch all these. And then these other ones are behind glass with some explanations of what they are and where they came from in the area. We'll move on through the museum. Oh, here's our here's our moose. Yeah, he's a huge, he's a big one, this one. The gentleman told me he might be about 800 to 1,000 pounds if he were whole. So we have some drums. They're really nice. They sound awesome. This was a wedding dress. So pretty. These are some toys that the children would have played with. Um, Nice, eh? These are oak picks. These are really cute little oak picks. I love them. Oh, and this would have been somebody's doll and their little papoose. 
And that's a beaver stretcher. That's a hide stretcher. Here are some beautiful beadwork. Like, oh my goodness. I'll just give you a little quick glimpse of all these pretty beads. So nice. These are gauntlet mittens. These are so pretty. Different types of slippers, muckalucks, moccasins, little baby ones. So cute. Some beautiful jackets that people made for their loved ones. More slippers and moccasins. Imagine the time and the work that goes into this, hey? And all the love and the stitches. This is cool. These are made out of, out of quills. Yeah, those are quills, not beads. More beadwork. Some more dollies. They're so cute. These are interesting. These are called baby belts. So you would put them on like so and carry your baby around. And you get all your hands free. I know, aren't they beautiful as well? So nice. Um, so on this side, we have some aviation. So we have what we call the winter road and it's only open in the winter. So yeah, it's, it's a huge thing to get people, um, get their supplies here, the winter road system. And in the summertime, it's a barge system. So that's what we got going on here. And these would, this would be the, the winter road highway system, which is kind of cool. And here we have some animals. All good museums have to have some animals. Some creatures, we call it our creature wall. But here's some interesting, this is uh, outfitter. So a lot of out people come, come to Northwest Territories for um, outfitters, outfitter packaging, and it's, it's big business. They come from all over the world for this. So here we're, um, what does an outfitter do? There you go, you can read all about that. And here's some pictures of local outfitters that have helped make the economy here in Norman Wells. And here's our resident bear. Apparently he was a nuisance bear and he kept coming into town. So once upon a time he lived at the airport, but now he, he lives here and he's cool. But we don't have a name for him, we should name him. Here are some artifacts from the Canal Trail Project as well. So these were people who, um, they used these to feed everybody. I can imagine, it might've been quite the uh, undertaking. And some pictures of just people doing everyday chores to survive. And here's a little wall about people who were, who, you know, had a little bit of an impact on the North. There's a gentleman, you guys might be, somebody might be familiar with him. Martin Hartwell. So it wasn't too far from here that he crashed that plane. And anyway, it's a really interesting story. It's sad, but it's interesting. Here's another one it's called Nelson Hammer. So they've actually named a mountain after him here in this area. So cool. And this is about Edward. Edward is an elder in the town and Edward, everybody knows Edward, he's a sweetheart. So he makes his rounds and they gave him an award. Sweet man. And anyway, oh, and here we have some, well, American and Canadian armed forces because the, the Americans were all over this Canal Trail project. So we have a little honorarium to them here. The RCMP, which are a big part of the North as well. So there you have it, folks. If you're ever in Norman Wells, Northwest Territories, you've got to drop by the museum. All right, I hope everybody is well and doing great, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned for more adventures.